Hi everybody. Today we're going to be working on subtraction. So you should have your golden beads and some math problems. I'm going to share the math problems with you right now so that you can see what they look like. Go ahead and find the first math problem. Nine thousands, nine hundreds, three tens, and eight ones, minus four thousands, four hundreds, zero tens, and five ones. When you found this math problem, give me a thumbs up. Hi Grace, right now we're finding our math problems. We are finding 9,900s, three tens and eight ones minus 4,000s, four hundreds, zero tens and five ones. The very first one on the page. Give you guys just another moment to find it. There is this one. This is a math problem we're going to be working on. All right, so we're going to start, I think everybody has their math problems. We're gonna start by using our golden beads that we cut out. If you don't have them cut out, you can follow along on the screen. And we're going to form the top number. So let's see, Levi, can you unmute yourself? Levi, how many ones do I have in the top number? How many ones are there? Uh, one. Let's see, we have nine thousands, nine hundreds, three tens, and eight ones. How many ones do I have? You, you got it, see? That's really fun. Nine thousands, nine hundreds, three tens, and eight ones. How many ones do I have? Eight ones. Mm -hmm. Eight ones. Everybody, let's get out eight ones. Hi Alicia, we're finding our first math problem, 9,900, three tens and eight ones, minus 4,000s, 400, zero tens and five ones. It's the very first one on your piece of paper. All right, so we got out eight ones. Grace, how many 100s do I need to take out? Three. Not three 100s, how many 100s? This is tricky. Nine. Yeah, nine one hundreds. And you're right, we have to take out three tens. At least how many one thousands do we have to take out? Uh, eight ones. But eight ones, three tens, nine hundreds, and nine one thousands. I'm being a little bit tricky so that I see if you understand which ones thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. So I'm going to do something to help us out. I think. Since we haven't been in the classroom, it might be a little bit confusing. We have one thousands. Let's 
1,000s come at the very beginning. Then we have 100. Then we have 10. And then we have ones. So all of our numbers are going to be in this order. One thousands, one hundreds, tens, and ones. So we're going to go ahead and get out three tens. Now I'm going to get out nine one hundreds. And I'm going to get out nine one thousands. So make sure you're forming this number with your own beads at the same time. Give me a thumbs up once you finish forming all of these off for the first number. Looks like everybody's finishing up. So our next job is going to be forming the second number. But we're doing subtraction, so it's going to be a little bit different. So let's look at which one is 1,000, 100, tens, and ones. So instead of getting new beads to form this number, we're going to form this number using the beads we already took out. So the first thing I need is I need five ones. I'm not going to get new beads. I'm going to move five ones that I already took out to form my new number. So let's see, Levi, can you unmute yourself? How many, how many tens do I have to move? How many tens do I have to move? Zero tens. I have zero tens. I'm all done. So zero have to be moved. Elise, 
how many 100s do I have to move? You can look at the computer screen. How many 100s do I have to move? Four. Four 100s. So I'm going to move four 100s down to the bottom. I don't need new beads. I'm going to use the beads that are already there. And let's see, little Grace, how many 1,000s do I have to move? Four, two. Four. Yeah, you're right. It's the same. Four for both of them. One, two, three, four. So now, at the bottom, I formed this number. Four thousands four hundreds, zero tens, and five ones. So I made that number. Now I'm gonna find the answer. The answer to my math problem happens when I count the top numbers because I changed them, right? So I have one, two, three. I have three ones. I have one, two, three tens. I have one, two, three, four, five one hundredths. And I have one, two, three, four, five one thousandths. So my answer is five thousands, five hundredths, three tens, and three ones. Go ahead and write that down on your paper. When you're ready, give me a thumbs up so I know you're ready to move on. All right, I'm gonna start getting ready for our next math problem. When you're ready, you can find this math problem on your sheet. And I'd like you to form this first number by yourself. So make sure you're forming this number, 4,000s, 200s, 6,10s, and 2,1s with your beads.
All right, I see Alicia has a question. Did you finish forming the number, Alicia? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Um, well, no, but, but I don't have enough space, so is it okay if I just use my hands? Well, you have some space. And you can stack the beads on top of each other if you don't have enough space. It's okay. We don't want to count with our fingers. We only have 10 fingers. So sometimes if we have a number more than 10, we won't be able to use our fingers. I'm going to start forming the number since it looks like most of you have worked on it. You can go ahead and check your answer. So go ahead and check your answer. And then your next job is to practice what we did with our last math problem and use the beads you already have to form the second number. So use, check your answer here and then use these beads to form the second number. All right, I'm going to start forming it on the bottom. I know I need to take zero ones, three tens, one one hundred, and four one thousand. And then at the top, I'm going to count my answer so I can write it. So if you go ahead and count it, if there's nothing there, then we're all done with it. So you go ahead and count it and write down your answer. And then you can look at the screen to see if we have the same answer. This is the number that you got, then ours match. Since we have zero and thousands, we don't have to write the zero down because it's at the beginning of the number. I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready for our last math problem of the day.
And when you're ready, go ahead and form this first number. Eight thousands, two hundreds, nine tenths, and two ones. When you're ready, you can check your answer and see if it looks the same. And then the same thing that we did with the last problem, you're going to take the beads that you already used and you're going to use them to form the new number at the bottom. Well, I see you guys working. I'm going to show you which numbers go on the bottom. We have to take away two thousands, two hundreds, eight tens, and zero ones. Sorry, zero ones to take away. And I have to take away eight tens. The next thing I have to take away is two one hundreds. That's all of them. That means that I have zero one hundreds left. And I have to wait, take away two one thousands. So go ahead and make yours look the same. I know most of you have finished making this number. And go ahead and count. Let me see you counting. How many are left for the answer? Grace, can you unmute yourself and tell us how many are left for each one? Um, Start with the ones. It's mine says I need four on the top. I took a, I I have four on the top. I took and then bottom says I took away four, but you have still three more. Oh, I think you're doing a different math problem. Are you doing the one on the screen? Oh no. Will you help me count what's Cause, left? Because I came here more late, so I cannot catch it up. That's okay. You can work on this one with us. Can you count from the screen how many are left on the top? Okay. Um, how many ones? Two. All right. How many tens? Um, one. How many one hundreds? Six. How many one hundreds? Zero. Zero. And how many one thousands? Um. Six. 
All right, that's our answer. Six thousands, zero tens, I mean zero one hundreds, one ten, and two ones. Thank you for your help, Grace. Friends, go ahead and write down this on your paper. And it's just about time for us to go. So thank you for doing math with me today. Bye. You can keep working on the other math problems with your bees at home.